So you said up, pass off Bergman, and take a right, correct? Okay, thanks a lot, Joyce. I really appreciate it. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll call you later. <laughs> Bye. Well, hello, players. It's your friendly host, NPC, here. We're back on Hoff Bergman. Just got done talking with Joyce, and she gave me kind of a lead on maybe some old farm equipment we can buy. Again, the decision's going to be yours, but we may, may have a line with some old farm equipment we can get pretty cheap. She told me to go up past Hoff Bergman. There's a, a, a road past Hoff Bergman on the right. Take it over to a, another village that's just over the hill there and go to the horse farm. So that's, that's what we're going to be doing. If, you, if you're wondering about the call you later, Joyce and I have been spending some time together. Okay, it's, you know, most of the other NPCs around here, they're not very personable. And let's just say my uh, charisma has won her over. <laughs> she likes me. What can I say? I mean, we had a drink the other night. You know, told her I'd take her out to dinner. I just don't, you know, NPCs, we get lonely. We, we need people to, to be around. Hope you guys are all doing well. I know Raz is doing pretty good. He worked all week. But now he's at home behind his computer. Everything's better. All right, so we're gonna head over here and see about this old farm equipment. Like I said, I'm not gonna buy it. We're just doing some scouting for you, the humans, the, the real people at home, to make the decision on what uh, what I get to do. Let's try it this way. So here's Hoff Bergman up on the left. There we go, coming in Hoff Bergman. So we'll go past it and take a right. Now, I have some other good information. Joyce said I can rent uh, the building across from her, and uh, it's it's a thousand dollars or a thousand euros a month. Is what she told me. Said the owners of of the shop. Uh, they rent that out so we can use that as maybe our contract yard. We also have this lot here. This is still for sale across from Hoff Bergman. That's a very nice, make a re really nice contractor yard. So where am I? Oh, right here. It's kind of hard to see with the bushes. Turn up this way. the sign say? I don't know what that sign is. Oh, this sign means turns. And I didn't know there was another village close by. Very interesting. All I've been doing is contracting work while you've been gone. Just been taking care of some contracting work. We still don't have tons of money, though. Sitting around $10,000 in the bank. Money's hard to come by, because... Here lately, all I've been able to do is fertilizing contracts, and while the only person making money off of those is the people who sell the fertilizer. Oh, so here's this little village. This is very nice. Or if that's the horse farm. Let's turn in there. There's horses on the gate. Make sure I don't run into anybody here. Oh, I bet you this is the right place, because there it is. She said it was an old Fiat. The owner had told her about the last time he was in the shop. Look at that. Was it the trailer? Got a trailer? Tractor? Not sure how many horses that is. We'll, we'll have to go talk to the owner. Got front loader, bucket, some forks, 
We could we could do quite a bit with this. We could do a little bit of work with this. She said I could get it fairly cheap. I'm really curious on how much this is. This is a beautiful place. Look at this. It's a horse farm over here. Beautiful, beautiful place. And so clean and neat. There's just nobody around. I hope they're not having dinner or something. I'd feel real awkward just knocking on the door. You said they're extremely friendly, though. Beautiful. Beautiful little place. Well, I tell you what, I'll just go... Um, I, I don't know custom... Do, do you knock on the back door? The front door? What's the... I guess probably the front door would be best. Let me see if they even have one. We'll come out here. Hi! Hi, NPCs! You look a lot like my sister. Okay, let's go up here and we'll knock and introduce ourselves and see about some of the information on that old tractor. Hello! I'm, I'm interested in the tractor! Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is Raznak. We are back on Hoff Bergman. As you can see, the story of NPC is getting quite complicated. He's, you know, he's talking to Joyce. He's got a little relationship stuff going on. He's he's trying to expand his op operations because he's spending a whole lot of money just on seed and fertilizer. I mean, he's getting a little money for doing the contracts, but all of his money is going into supplies. And uh, it's, it's just really hard for him to make money. He's sitting at $10,929 in the bank. If you're curious about our expenses and where the cost and everything is going, you can go over... To the link provided in the video description and it will take you to a beautiful beautiful spreadsheet that was made by my friend Jamberry and that will tell us kind of what's going on um, where my money is going where it's coming from so forth and so on today's episode is not going to be very long why because I'm at, I'm at a fork in the road and when I get to a fork in the road, you as the viewer have to decide what I'm going to do. Now, I've, I'm coming up with a couple different options, and I will go over those quickly with all of you. And then you can comment and decide where this goes, and that way um, I can start recording kind of that. And then when we reach another fork in the road, again, you as viewers will decide. So. Our first choice, I believe, which is a, probably our best choice. I think for a while, until we get some money, we're going to have to do some contracting work. Now, we have two options for Contractor's Yard. We can purchase one. We can buy this Contractor's Yard right here for $22,744. I'll have to do some more contracts to get that money, but I can do that. Uh, I can do all that off camera, get that money built up, then we can buy this yard, and then I think if we buy this yard, I would like to lease equipment, so we will lease the equipment from the shop, we'll still have to purchase, um, I th I, well, let me rephrase it, I w we will lease the equipment from the, from the yard to do, um, say, fertilizing contracts, to do uh, tillage contracts, maybe some planters contracts. It just depends on how much we can get the, the equipment for. But this will be primarily just for contracts and we will lease and buy everything from the shop. Buy a fertilizer, buy our seed, you know, we'll buy all that stuff from the shop along with the leasing costs. So I don't, I don't know how profitable that would be. I still think we'll make money over time and money will continue to generate and eventually because we own this land we could put down things um, like let me show you um, which actually we could do this we can use the further mix which we don't have to we can actually do, do this someplace else we'll talk about that in just a second I mean I could put down the juice master um, but more importantly we could actually start doing bees over here Again, this would be probably newer equipment that we lease. Uh, we'll lease kind of, you know, a smaller, newer tractor, maybe like the Fiat or, uh, or you know, Fiat or the Fent. 
um, something along those lines. I've got the Ferguson pack installed. Um, but that stuff's really tiny. I mean, we can go with this little Massey Ferguson right here, a little 390T, this vent here. So we have a lot of different options that way. So we can do that and uh, and then start building up our yard because it's our land, we can put things on it. Now, the other option I thought, which would go really, really well, um, and is actually my preferred option, you don't have to agree with me, but uh, I, I, I'm gonna put in my two cents here, so we'll drive back to the shop real quick. So my other preferred option is we rent this little shop down here by uh, Joyce's place, by, by the farm shop, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. We pay her a thousand dollars a month. Now we'll still have our living expenses of six hundred dollars a month because we'll be staying at Mrs. Schaefer's Inn until we get a house. Uh, that I decided to do that until we get a house, or maybe eventually, maybe I'll find a camper or a caravan, as some folks say. Um. Maybe we can get that and then live out of our camper. I think that would be fun. So definitely do that. So this building right here, we can rent this for a thousand dollars. And with this, we get all this space right here. We have access to the shop that is very close, which is very nice. Um, the problems are the only uh, I think the downside to this is one we don't own it, but again, it's only you know we had to buy that for twenty two thousand dollars. This is only a thousand bucks a month. Eventually, I think if we start here, we can build up faster and buy property quicker than if we just buy that chunk of land and lease all of our equipment. Now here we have hours between eight and twenty two hundred or eight a.m. and ten p.m. Uh, which I think will give us plenty of opportunity uh, to get work done. And then, of course, this gate will close. So once it's closed, we can't get into our equipment. Not necessarily a negative, because I, I don't like working at night. With this option, I would buy the old equipment from the horse farm, and we would start with that here. Because I can get that old equipment for $10,000. Mr. MPC worked out a deal with the owner of all that equipment, the tractor, the trailer, the front loader, the bucket, and the pallet fork for only $10,000. Those are only 66 horsepower. That's only a 66 horsepower tractor, but we could start a spraying operation. And I think would be very profitable to do spraying because Hoff Bergman has this wonderful Fertimix. It's only $12,500 to buy, but it's only $637 to lease it. Um, so we don't have to buy it right away. We could just lease it, and then we can mix our own liquid fertilizer. Liquid fertilizer is very expensive. The cheapest is $3,200 per 2,000 liters. And with, um, with the Fertimix, I believe, Here's the FertiPro granulated big bag. It's $500 for 2,000 liters. I'm going, and I don't know what the mixture is. I haven't played with it, but I'm going to assume it's probably one bag of this, the rest water. So we would get um, quite a bit of liquid fertilizer for a very, very low cost. We're talking 6,000 liters, so three times the amount for very, very low cost. Probably one bag of mix, which goes in the top here, and then the rest water. Now, the real nice thing about this also is we can carry this with our front loader. And I'm pretty sure our little tractor should be able to handle it. <laughs> I hope. And we will find out if we go this route. So again, you have two decisions to make. Again, very short video. The old equipment from the horse farm and Mr. MPC buys it, brings it down here. We pay Joyce a thousand dollars a month, a month, to operate our fertilizing business out of this area here. Or our other option is, 
I do some more contracts. I save up some money. Uh, $22,000 for the lot over across from Hoff Bergman. We go ahead and buy it, start leasing equipment, and then start doing contracts out of that contractor yard and uh, kind of build up that way. Again, my preferred option would be with Mr. MPC buying the old equipment, but the decision is now yours. I will leave it to you. Option number one. Option number two, buy the yard. So you guys let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for watching. The response to the series has been wonderful. I'm going to try to do more and more just different unique things. Um, try to make this really, really different than what I've seen out there. Um, and I may struggle with that at times because sometimes it's hard to think of these things. But so far, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I really like the interactive component of it. So let me know what you think in the comments. And then on Thursday, when the video comes out, it'll be what you guys decide. I will record uh, on Wednesday the day, uh, what you guys decide on which way Mr. NPC goes. So you let me know. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye.